Hey, so there's something I'd like to chat about, and that is potential Sonic game remasters and or remakes. Because Sonic Team head Takashi Izuka recently said that if there's enough fan demand, they're open to doing these for more games. So yeah, let's talk about that and what games they should do this for. And I guess to start off with, I'll cover the classics really quick. I know they've been remastered, you know, made widescreen and everything, and actually remade from the ground up, but... You know, when it comes down to it, they're still, it's still the same graphics, same music, it's still the same games. Ideally, I'd love something like the Fan Project Sonic 2 HD, you know, where everything's just redone and it looks amazing, but I'm not holding out hope for that, and that's okay. The classics can just stay how they are, and that's okay. You know, they're great as is, but how cool would that be if they got remade completely? And then another thing I should bring up, I guess, is Knuckles Chaotix. That's never been re-released, remastered, anything. But, don't know if it's worth it for that game. Maybe if they changed a lot, but if they changed enough of it to make it good, they might as well make a different game, if I'm being honest. I also want to bring up the Sonic Advance games, because these games look great on a Game Boy screen, but, you know, really tiny resolution, but, like, the animations and stuff are just great. And an HD version of the Sonic Advance games would just be amazing. Sonic Advance 3 HD, oh man, be one of my dream games. So they should do that, but it's a lot of work, I understand, but they should do it. Alright, so now we'll get into the 3D games, and the early 3D games, you know, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, I think would pretty much need complete remakes, or like, yeah, not, not just simple remasters, but oh man, Sonic Adventure Remake, oh, that is that is my dream game. Sonic Adventure has such a great foundation, but th there's a lot they would have to iron out. I think they should do it, but it would require a lot of work, like pretty much the work of a new game. But oh man, how great would that be? Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Like the dream would be Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 both remade, you know, like the Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy, just in one bundle. Like that, that would sell so well too. I think I just read that the Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy sold past 20 million now, so like Sega, come on, do it. Or, you know, make a trilogy, Sonic Heroes remade in there too. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. And I know both Sonic Adventure games have been re-released. You know, there's Sonic Adventure DX and then the re-release of Sonic Adventure 2 with the widescreen. But, you know, those aren't really what I'm talking about here. I want full remakes. I don't think that's going to happen. I would love that. I think if any game were going to get, like, a re-release with a bunch of work done to it, it should be Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. But... Sonic Adventure would be higher on my priority list because uh, I like Sonic Adventure 1 more than 2. I like them both a lot, but I like 1 better and 1 has a better foundation. I feel like like it controls better and the level design's better. It's just, it's more buggy. Sonic Adventure 2 is more solid and it has other things to go for. I think Sonic Adventure 2 has a better story, but both of them, yeah. If they were re-released re with like modern standards, uh, it would it would just be amazing. Sonic Heroes, I feel like, could benefit from a remake as well. I know that one's not as well-loved as the Sonic Adventure games, but, you know, if they maybe fix some things up, like the slippery controls, and, you know, maybe make it optional for the characters all talk during the level so it's less annoying, then people might like that. I don't know. And then there's Sonic 2006. I mean, yes, they could put in the effort to make it a good game, but... That would require so much work, I don't think it's worth it. Other people would disagree with me on that. I think they should just let that game be in the past. And there's the fan projects like Sonic Project 2006 and whatever, so... And then Sonic Unleashed. This is one I see requested for a re-release all the time on Twitter and stuff, and... I guess my question is why? It already looks pretty good by today's standards, and... If you get on a modern Xbox console, there's even the framerate boost, so it runs a lot smoother, so... Although, with that being said, if they re-release Sonic Unleashed but cut out the BS or made it more optional, I would be all over that. Because I love the daytime Sonic stages in Sonic Unleashed, but I hate literally everything else about the game that you have to do. So, you know, first of all, just get rid of those Sun and Moon Metal requirements to access stages. Just, it's dumb, it's stupid, it's just unneeded fluff to slog through, so get rid of that, and I'm just going to say it, make the Werehog optional, and yes, I know what that means if you skip all the Werehog stages, it's going to make Sonic Unleashed a pretty short game, but I think most people will be okay with that, I would be okay with that, 
but as it is, it's just Sonic Unleashed is such a slog to play through, and I, uh, I keep going back to it, and I will play on my like complete save file all the daytime Sonic stages over and over again, and I have a great time, but when I'm starting a new game, I just keep being reminded of how much of a slog the game is. There's just so much BS. I That's why I can't really recommend Sonic Unleashed to people when they ask about Sonic games, because there's just so much in the way of fun. <laughs> Some people like the Werehog, and I, uh, I don't, but that's that's debatable. But everything else in it, just the Sun and Moon Metal Collecting especially, that is, that is the bs -est of BS. And then the Tornado QTE stages, and I, the Hub Worlds too. They're just like these narrow, uncomfortable hallways that you have to like narrowly go through. I, I don't like them. But if all the BS is cut out or made optional, I would love a re-release of Sonic Unleashed. Do that. And then there's Sonic Colors, you know, been there, done that. And I will just say really quick, I did not hate Sonic Colors Ultimate like a lot of fans online. I think the negativity toward it has been a bit overblown. Like yeah, there's weird gl graphical glitches and stuff, but it's very situational. A, an average person playing through it isn't going to run into all those problems, and I think it's fine, I don't know. People love to jump on negativity and make it out to be more than it is a lot online, and I think Sonic Colors Ultimate got that a lot, because it's not that bad. But I'm getting off topic there, so I'll move on, and then Sonic Generations, obviously, you know, they're doing that right now, and I'm looking forward to that Sonic X Shadow Generations, which still has a weird name, but that aside, let's move on. And then there's Sonic Lost World, which I don't think is really worth any sort of remaster or anything. I don't I don't hate it. I don't think it's a bad game, but I also don't think it's a good game and I don't know. It's just it's not worth it. If you want to play it on a modern system, have a decent enough PC and just get it on Steam. Yeah. And then there's Sonic Forces, which should be forgotten about. They should never revisit that, so definitely no. And I guess that kind of brings us to now. I guess I'll cover other games though, just for the fun of it, like the Game Gear games. Getting HD remakes of those, theoretically, would be cool. Especially Sonic Triple Trouble, that's my favorite one, and I would love a Sonic Triple Trouble HD. I know there's that fan project, Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit, and I love that. I would love an official version of that. You know, maybe Sega could pull a Capcom and just get with the creator and be like, hey, let's release this officially. I mean, hey, that's how the Sonic Classic remasters happen with Christian Whitehead, so... It could happen. I don't expect that, but I would love an official Game Gear HD re-release of like any of them. Well, almost saving them, not Sonic Blast. That would just be a joke. <laughs> there are also the Sonic Rush games, which would be hard because they're made for two screens, like vertically, but they could make it work. They could just expand the whole screen size. It would make the characters look tiny, but that way you could just have everything on the screen, but I don't know, I don't know. There, there's ways they could do it. I don't expect that. I would love Sonic Advent or Sonic Rush Adventure to be remade somehow, but I don't see that happening. It'd be cool though. And you know what? They should just go ahead and give us a remastered Sonic Spinball with better controls because, you know, why not? I love Sonic Spinball, but I can admit that it's kind of, I'm kind of nostalgia blinded by that game because it was the first Sonic game I bought my Genesis came with Sonic 2 and then I went out and bought Sonic Spinball so that was other than Sonic 2 that was the only Sonic game I played for a while and I think I had more fun with it than I should have but I don't know I, I still love Sonic Spinball and I'd love to see that get remade I don't see that happening not even like a widescreen version like with the classics but I thought I'd throw that out there and yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything I could think to bring up, but what do you think? What Sonic game do you think should be remade or remastered next in line? I think they should go for Sonic Adventure, personally, but I, I, don't know, I guess that's kind of cheating because that would require a lot more work than just remastering Sonic Unleashed or something, but I don't, I, I'd love to see that the most. I'd also love Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, we got the early 3D games remade. I think would be amazing, and Sega should do it because, like I just said, I think Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy just passed 20 million sales, which is a lot, and I think Sonic Adventure could do it if it was remade. It has a lot of nostalgia power, and 
It's just a really good game on its own, and if it were brought to modern standards, you know, with all those infamous glitches ironed out, it would be amazing, I believe. And despite their ups and downs, I think Sonic Team has it in them. I think they have the talent to do it. They just need to not be rushed. So Sega Management should, you know, be better about that too. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you think? What Sonic game would you like to see remade, remastered the most? Let me know. Otherwise, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Hope you have a hat stack and good day.